Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can set up placeholder in your Ezoic. So as you can see that Ezoic plays a lot of automatic ads and as you can see that there is a lot of AI placeholder generated by Ezoic itself and here I am using the Ezoic plugin to generate the placeholders in my website but there is some issues with this. So as you can see that when I scroll down here, it is showing ads in between the list content or sometimes it shows ad in between the table of content, but it is not good for the user experience because it will break the website layout. So let me open a category page from here. So let me go to the WordPress category here and sometimes it shows ads on the odd position. See, I don't want to show an ads here in this position then I can easily block this ad from the Ezoic plugin or using the Ezoic Chrome extension. So we are going to see how you can do that. So first of all, you need to install the Ezoic Chrome extension. So you can simply search on Google and install it in your computer. And then you need to open your website and here you here in the Ezoic Chrome extension, you need to click on this option preview AI placeholders. And as you can see that the placeholder is now shown and let me wait for it and as you can see that AI placeholder is shown here. So I can easily turn this off like don't show this on entire domain. So it will not show in this position in entire domain or you can disable it from this page only. So it will not show in this position in this page. So I don't want to show this on entire domain. So I will click on OK and it will remove from this position from my entire domain. So in this way you can remove add from unnecessary place. So as you can see that AI placeholder under second paragraph. So don't show in this directory or don't show in entire domain. So I will select this option because I don't want to enable this option in the category page. That's why I will select don't show in this directory and I will click on OK. So it will remove that placeholder from this position. So this is how it, how easy it to remove this and as you can see that again it shows the EI placeholder. So let's remove it and let's click on OK. All right, the placeholder will be now removed from this page. So it is still showing AI placeholder. So you need to disable it from the Ezoic dashboard. So for this, I will go to the dashboard here, go to the Ezoic leaf here and go to the placeholders and I will click on add type and here you will see this option auto insert ads and let's disable this two option. So the AI placeholder will be removed from our website and all the placeholders will be generated by the Ezoic plugin in WordPress. So let's go to the website and let me refresh this page again. And you can see that we have removed those placeholder on this page. Now let me open a different page from here and let me click on the Ezoic extension here and let's click on activate placeholder and as you can see that placeholder is now activated so sometimes it shows in the list elements and sometimes it shows in odd position so we need to select those elements that are showing in odd position and you can simply remove this by clicking on here and you can simply delete this placeholder or you can hide this placeholder from this particular page only so it will show a exclusion rule for this page so let's scroll down here and if you don't want to show it within your list element then you can easily go to your Ezoic plugin here and here I will click on add setting here and as you can see that Ezoic created a lot of placeholders here like this so all of the placeholders are created automatically by the Ezoic plugin and as you can see that I have disabled a lot of placeholders now so by default it's activated all the placeholder on your website so you can simply select this and you can disable this like this one is activated so if you want to disable it then you can simply click on disable and hit the update button so it will disable that placeholder 
so make sure to test this in couple of days and then it will show the revenue percentage so as you can see that this position doesn't giving me that much revenue then i can simply click on here and i can simply disable it and hit update so this placeholder will be removed from our website now if you want to exclude certain uh, html tag or if you want to exclude the table of content like that so you can easily do that by clicking on the setting gear here and here there is this option to filter it out so here we need to exclude or add some filters so that it will not show the ads in odd position so the first filter we will use the list element because it will not show any ads within the list element or within the table of content so we need to add li here and hit create and you can also do the same and you can also add your own class like you can just go to your website and right click on the table of content here so let me hit the inspect button here and i will select the table of content and i will copy the table of content class here so i will copy it and i will go to the ezoic here in this class i will paste that class and i will click on create so it will exclude those classes and it will not count this as a placeholder place like here when you set these placeholders it will count the number of paragraphs like it will show after second paragraph or fourth paragraph or sixth paragraph but it will not count the paragraphs within the list element or it will not count the paragraph within the table of content block so you can easily exclude those paragraphs from your placeholders and you can also set a rule here this is very important so you can uh, set a word count so let me put 10 so whenever a sentence is less than 10 word then it will not count that as a paragraph so let me just show you so if you simply check that there is one two three four five six seven eight there is eight word in this sentence so it will not count this sentence as a paragraph one or paragraph two and it will exclude those paragraphs so in this way you can exclude those positions from add in ezoic so this is a good option to exclude paragraph and if you do these two settings one is adding the list element here in the insertion filter and adding a number of word it will fix all of your issues in ezoic and it will not show the ads in odd position and here you can also exclude your urls like you don't want to show ads on your about us page or contact us page then you can simply enter the url here and exclude those pages from here and just click on save after making the changes and all the exclusion will be added here and from now on there will be no ads shown within the list element or within the table of content block like that and you can also manually visit some of the pages of your website and exclude it using the ezoic chrome extension so let me open this web page here so if you logged in then no ads will be shown to you so make sure to log out first and then let's activate the placeholder and let's scroll down here as you can see that there is this placeholder showing here like this as you can see that it will not show within the list element from now on and it will all only count those paragraphs that have more than 10 words so let me scroll off here and as you can see that wp under second paragraph that's because these two paragraph has more than 10 words that's why it is showing this placeholder after the second paragraph because it is counting this as a first paragraph and this is a second paragraph so in the same way if there is a less than 10 word sentence then it will not count it as a paragraph so in this way you can fix all of your issues in ezoic and if you don't want to show ads on a certain position so let me scroll down to the bottom of the page so sometimes it shows ads within the related post section then you can also copy the class of the related post and add it in the exclusion that we have discussed before in the ezoic plugin and here you can also individually control the 
pages like whether you want to show a placeholder in post pages or category pages so as you can see that i will not show the ads in the category pages after the first paragraph because if you check the category pages and if you show a ads after the first paragraph then it will break the layout because in category pages paragraphs are under a certain layout and if you show an ad then it will automatically break your layout so that's why you need to disable those placeholders that are breaking your layout in website so just click on the add placeholder and simply select it to disable and hit the update button and it will be disabled from that pages and you can also click on the show all button to show all of the your placeholders in this ezoic plugin so that's it for this placeholder video and if you have any doubt regarding this placeholder issues in your wordpress website using ezoic then do let me know in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye